Welcome to another edition of Mama's Gone Wild Television. I'm Nikki Woods, and Mary Boyce is my co-host and partner in crime. Hello. And Mama's Gone Wild is just a place for busy women, whether you be single or married, uh, a mother or not, to come and share your concerns, vent your frustrations, and obviously celebrate the joys of being a woman, uh, especially being a mother. Uh, And being mothers of girls, which I don't happen to be, but I am a girl. (laughs) So we can talk about it. But today we want to talk about all the things that go in with being a girl and how that feeds our self-esteem, whether it be, you know, the colored contacts or the weaves, wearing makeup, all the things that make us feel good, but are they necessarily good for us, especially at a young age? So today we are talking to Robbie Douglas, who is a marketing professional she's married and the mother of two one of which happens to be a girl and then we also have Deidre Courtney who's a teacher she's the wife of a pastor and you are the mother of two girls bless you uh and then of course Mary has a teenage girl and as I said I am a girl so that qualifies me but today let's, let's talk about all the things that go into um being a girl I mean as mothers hopefully we we set the example Uh, for our girls and what they're going to grow up to be and what they think of themselves and how they view themselves. But um, unfortunately, that's not necessarily true. Mm -hmm. So who do you see as like the role models in in your daughter's lives and who do they look to for like fashion and and beauty advice and what effect does that have on them? Well, um, my daughter, who's 11 right now, she um, she wants to wear my shoes now. She can wear them. She can't. Her feet is almost big as mine. Mm-hmm. But I think she looked to me because my closet is like jeans, jeans. Everything is coordinated. So she said, Mom, I just did what you did. Oh. Uh, and then she came to me one day and said, um, I want a top like that, but not as grown as yours, but I like yours. So I think she's looking to me for fashion. She liked the way I dress. I'm not trying to dress like a teenager. I'm trying to but you dress. keep it young. Yes, I keep it young. Mm-hmm. I keep it colorful. And I, you know, just not too old and not too uh, pastor wife, even though I'm a pastor wife. <laughs> but I try to... Uh, I try to step it up to the fashions that it is, that is of today. And she notices that, and she liked that. And uh, when we discuss fashions, she's... Uh, well, for instance, she's going to the sixth grade, mm-hmm. and she's been on the internet shopping for all the things that sixth graders wear. Mm-hmm. So she's mm-hmm. ready to be fashionable, ready to just look the part as a sixth grader. But, and, and see, and that's hot because I know, mm-hmm. and especially as a marketing professional, I mean, I don't think the kids realize that what they see when they put something on is not necessarily what other people see. Mm-hmm. And we mm-hmm. see some really young girls, you know, maybe dressing Nicki Minaj's mm-hmm. or other things like that. So Ooh, <laughs> as, nice. the, as the mother of a teenage girl and you too, Mary, I mean, what do you say to them when you see things getting a little short down there and a little, sh- you know? You know, this is a uh, really important topic. And I think you, you talked about where do girls role model from everything that they see, right, right. the videos, the other uh, girls at school. And so my motto is that I really have to tell my daughter what I expect from her. It's not so much what she sees, um, but a great example is a number of her, of her friends, she's only nine years old, they uh, are into their pedicures and their manicures, and my daughter has yet to experience that. So I don't care what's going on out there in the world. This is how we're going to do things in our house. (laughs) And, you know, that's everything from how you carry yourself, the words that you use. It's all it's all a part of who you become. And so I I really think it's important for us to take to pay attention to that. Yeah, I remember. And and this was just about a bed. But I remember going home every day and wanting um, a bed that my girlfriend Adrian had. She had one a canopy bed, and it was. Oh, I had a canopy bed growing up. And my mom used to always (laughs) say, "I did." You know, that's not what's going to happen in our house. And until you live in Adrian's house, you know, these are the rules that are going to be set in my house. And so what do you say, Mary? Because it really is a fight every day to try to. I mean, it's just with candy with my boys. But, I mean, I'm sure with clothes and stuff, it's it's a much bigger fight. It's rough. But my daughter, and my daughter is a big fan, and I'm sad to say, of Nicki Minaj's. But Mm -hmm. but, but what it has been a teacher, it has been a teachable moment for us because Mm -hmm. I've, I've gotten to the point. At first, I was like, I don't want you listening to her. I don't want... But then I realized that wasn't going to work. So then I started talking to her about what we, about what we expected of her, as you were saying, and what Nicki Minaj represented. So she's in show business, 
Mm-hmm. When you get a record deal, you can <laughs> you can do all That's that. Right. But she's doing something totally different than mm-hmm. what we're doing. And it also helps to have her, her dad plays a big role in her life. And I was going to ask you all that question about what, what, what roles do your husbands play and how your daughters feel about their the way they dress. Because her dad, has when he talks to her about it, mm-hmm. It, it has a bigger impact. When I talk to her about it, it sounds like I'm nagging or hating or whatever, mm-hmm. or trying to steal her swag, as she, <laughs> as she just said. But when he says that he comes from a male perspective and, like, Dad doesn't want you to, you know, look like this or, or right. do that, and it means more to her. I think you're right. I think, uh, it, at least in my household, my husband kind of follows my lead. He definitely has some rules and do's mm-hmm. and don'ts, but... Mm-hmm. I think he's relying on me to kind of set the, uh, you know, the Mm -hmm. mark. Mm -hmm. But I think today, more so than anything, there are so many images out there of what their outward appearance needs Mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just so important to take care of the inner girl. You know, Mm -hmm. I tell my daughter probably every other day, you are the perfect expression of God's being, and he Mm -hmm. made you special. And I love you, and he loves you very Mm -hmm. much. So I just try to kind of feed her inner person and just make sure that the outer person you know she doesn't succumb to all of the you know the things she can do to her hair and her nails and her it's just not about that so mm-hmm. I just try to tone it down right and speaking of inner and I just want to touch on this real quickly I mean time always flies when we talk about these these hot button topics but but with weight when you talk about inner and self-esteem there's so many images in television and magazines of size two women that that our children aspire to be in and we may know that like they're airbrushed and they're touched up mm-hmm. and they may take two pounds mm-hmm. off here but our kids don't necessarily know um, has it been an issue with your girls with weight or are they are they on diets already I mean I had a cousin who started a diet like at six mm-hmm. um, and it's just really really mm-hmm. sad what do you say to your girls about their body image um, as well well my daughter definitely because uh, the shows that she watch with uh, Victoria's and Hannah Montana the way they look when they're on stage singing um, she's like reading the label it's too much sugar I don't want that or she doesn't oh, eat wow. pizza. She doesn't eat cake. How old is she? She's 11. Wow. She used to eat hot dogs until she But I think that's out. becoming more right. the norm than it, than it right. used to be. I right. think kids are really right. becoming so weight conscious. She, yes. And unrealistically mm-hmm. so. Mm-hmm. Right. It just seems that our society is a society of extremes. You know, right. you've got people that are like very, very heavy. And then you got people on the other end of the mm-hmm. spectrum. It's like, where is the middle ground? You know, right. I just think that. It's our role as moms Mm -hmm. to help our girls focus on the right things. Mm -hmm. And and our boys, let's say that, because I think our boys are dealing with the light, And I tell my son all the time, watch how you talk to your sister. Because you're trying to figure out how to treat women and girls, and she is going to take her cues from you as to what she will receive from, Mm -hmm. you know, boys. So watch how you talk to your sister. Obviously, we could talk about this right (laughs) all day. How much time we got? All day. Well, apparently not enough. But we thank you for for being with us. And we'll tackle this issue on our blog on Black America Web. Um, dot com as well but relationships is what we're going to talk about next and we have some expert advice uh, for you on relationships a strong relationship whether with family friend and our significant other begins with you we're all connected Do these three things and positively change your relationships forever. Number one, tell the truth and tell the truth quick and fast. The longer you wait, the more difficult it is. Get curious rather than blame others. And finally, number three, be grateful. There are a plethora of good things happening around you every day for which you could be grateful. Count three every day. Your relationships may start with you, yet ultimately they affect the whole world. You've heard of six degrees of separation, right? Let's create stronger relationships starting now.
So now for our mom is gone wild tip, we are going to talk money. money. <laughs> so if you thought relationships was bad, <laughs> money is money is even worse. And money can ruin a relationship. We <laughs> all know that. Even with your children. Yes. Um, but how do we teach our children about money? What is a quick and easy way to get them on the right track? Well, I'm just experimenting with this, but um, I, I've heard about people doing this in their households, uh, adults doing this, putting their money in envelopes, uh, allotting certain amounts for the water bill, the whatever, the whatever, and just using cash. So it works with kids, too, yep. because the kids are always asking for money. They're always asking for things, and I don't think a lot of times there's a connection with them between, okay, when the money's gone, the money's gone, but envelopes mark the envelopes uh for whatever kids like yeah. whether it's video games or snacks or e but savings is really important make sure savings is one of yeah, them yeah i forgot about that one yeah. yeah and they can even decorate the envelopes themselves make it personal and just uh let the it sort of, sort of reinforces that it's a visual thing they see how much money they have they know and when it's gone it's gone and they just have to wait till next time around until payday <laughs> AKA <laughs> allowance. Exactly. <laughs> so it does. It teaches kids really important lessons about budgeting and also divvying up their money. They see like where all their money is going. I mean, if they're spending fifty dollars a month on snacks and only leaves ten dollars a month for video games, that's a problem. Exactly. That's a problem. And also, it empowers them. And another quick tip that you can use with your kids. I let my son now figure out the tip when we go out to dinner. Oh, that's so cool. now he figures out the tip. That. He adds it up, and yeah, I know, right? That's why. <laughs> right. That's why I let him do it now. <laughs> <laughs> but he feels really good about himself, and it gives him a, a good relationship with money, which is always important. Cool. So if you have your own Mama's Gone Wild advice, if you have questions, concerns, you can always email us at mamasgonewild at gmail.com. And I need to borrow a couple of dollars. <laughs> Mama's Gone Wild at gmail.com. We'll see you next time. I'm Nikki Woods. And I'm Mary Boyce. And we are Mama's Gone Wild, and this is blackamericaweb.com.